have unleashed the lynch mob and you've found it. I see the uh, Craig Thompson thing a bit of a salacious sideshow at the moment. This exercise is about getting someone, not anything else. It disturbs me to watch Mr Thompson drowning in a river of delusion. I'm very conscious that in the eyes of many of the public, I've already been charged, convicted and sentenced. Here's one damning judgement. The Coalition's reached a similar verdict. I had an imaginary friend as a child, but he didn't use my credit card. It reminds me, in fact, of the words of Jack Palance from Ripley's Believe It or Not, Believe It or Not. And the opposition does not believe it. I'm a lonely boy. I just think he's a scumbag. As much as it stinks, as much as it grates me that he sits behind me and goes about his business, the fact is he has a right to sit in that parliament. Who does this Prime Minister believe? And she should explain herself. Fair work, Australia, or the member for Dobell. It's not for the parliament to be judge and jury here. And she can't explain why it is that she can sit as judge and jury on Craig Thompson being in the caucus, but will continue to accept his vote in the parliament. How much scrutiny people expect that uh, you know, is, is needed of these issues, but I think that uh, nine investigations probably does it. Tonight, the Parliamentary Privileges Committee began its inquiry into the Thompson affair. On the question of the, of the standard of proof, but I would have thought that the ordinary civil standard would be uh, more than good enough uh, for the Parliament. Thank you for Justice Abbott. This guy's just a hack. He's not a judge, he's not a jury, he's a hack. It's a committee that doesn't leak. This is a pretty serious issue to uh, leak the first meeting of the Privileges Committee. There is now an inquiry into that inquiry. That's how nuts it gets. What next? This Prime Minister, Minister fails to take the censure. She scurries from the chamber. She scurries from the chamber to Carl's Castle. And this leader of the opposition, who's the only member of parliament to ever be thrown out of parliament for physically confronting Crazy. a Vietnam vet with no legs. This is a rotten government, a rotten Prime Minister, and it should go. I very much enjoy question time because it reminds me every day of how truly pathetic the opposition is. No wonder they don't want a debate of substance. Bring it on. Bring it on. The situation we have now is, is a bad question time on steroids. <laughs> detailed a transaction on his credit card involving an escort agency which until now has not been identified. This defies credibility that you're going to spend $60,000 to buy an interview from a prostitute. And for the record, no one's received any money from a current affair. But all of these incidents, the visits to the brothels, were supposed to happen more than 10 years ago. Maybe Mr Thompson's more memorable than we realise. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not descend even further into the gutter. This sort of witch hunt, this relentless personal attack just has to stop. I think it demeans the whole parliament. Many people are, are really just sick to death of this whole thing. As enough is enough, really. Yeah.